In this video, I'll be comparing the 720p screens on both phones. On the left is the LG Optimus LTE, and on the right is the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Uh, unfortunately, the Nexus doesn't have native MKV support, and this may be because it's not a final firmware, and this is the, an engineering version. But uh, I don't know if they'll be adding more codec support uh, when they finally release it. Uh, I tried using the free mobile player, but the codec wouldn't install, and even after manual installation, it still wouldn't work. So for this, I'll be using Dice Player Trial. I also tried converting the MKV files. Um, sorry, these are the codecs for a mobile player, but they don't work. I also tried converting the MP K, uh, MKV files into MP4s, and um, they wouldn't run on the native video player. So, uh, before I start off, um, I'll be showing the videos displayed at the lowest brightness, and then I'll turn it up to maximum brightness. On the LG Optimus, I wanted to use Dice Player just to make sure we're both using the same software, but Dice Player wouldn't uh, play back the videos properly. You get these weird flickering issues. So I'll be using the native uh, player on the LG. Uh, as well, on here, the display has been turned down to the lowest as well. Okay. So first I'm going to try a 720p uh, sample. going to show off the different viewing angles. Even on the lowest setting, uh, the Nexus is brighter. Now I'm going to do a 1080p sample. Um, one issue I've always had with Samsung's AMOLED screens was that they were way too oversaturated and the colors were unnatural, but um, they've obviously fixed that and adjusted the color temperatures and other things on this uh, display. And despite being a pentile display, um, there, there's no issues with graininess or uh, color shifts or anything like that. Now on to the 1080p sample.
So now I'm just going to turn the brightness up to maximum and just repeat the, te uh, the playback test. In Dice Player, the brightness is controlled manually inside the application itself, so you have to turn it up here as well um, and not in the uh, brightness settings in the phone itself. So first up is the 720p sample. As you can see, the Nexus has uh, slightly warmer colors at maximum brightness. Again, the viewing angles. Next up is a, a 1080p sample. The LG loads things uh, quicker, obviously, because of the faster processor. This player just likes to misbehave. Next up is a 1080p sample. Next up is a 1080p sample. Next up is a 1080p sample. So as you can see on the color on his on the monster's back, uh, there's definitely more detail on the uh, Nexus. Next up is another 1080p sample.
so in general, the Nexus S has warmer colors and even at its minimum brightness is uh, brighter than the LG. So the LG has a wider range, but uh, the Nexus has um, it's definitely still more saturated colors and uh, just warmer colors in general. And that's it for the comparison of both screens.